has stepped this way, the strangest sights on the island. Bricks from the four corners of the world. For two nickels, one dime, a tenth part of a dollar. We've got the show if you've got the dime. It's just starting. So hurry, hurry, look them over, the lady without a head. There are thin ones, there are fat ones. They're all inside. Zip and pip the pin-headed people. A sample of the marvelous freaks you'll see for the price of a small thin dime. You get the whole show now if you hurry, hurry, hurry! Hello, folks! Heading out for another dig again today. Hopefully I don't get my beard caught in a tree. <laughs> yeah! Anyways, I'm gonna head that way and, uh... Get in that hole and I'll see you there. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Okay folks, so I'm at the hole here. I see I had a bit of a cave in here from last time. This section right here. Drop down. And I see a bottle sticking out right there. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Uh, something... Ah, it is broke. Alright, that's too bad. Was it a sauce bottle? Um, yeah, it was a Leah, Leah and Perrin's bottle. Oh well. Would have been an okay find, I guess. So I got a lot of work ahead of me here. I gotta do a lot of digging, so I'll get you back up if I find anything. I can't even begin to tell you how many of these little hand mixers I pulled out of here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, I just rolled one out down there, folks. It's a nice uh, aqua blue color. From here, it kind of looks like a Johnson's American Anodyne Liniment. Just judging by the shape and the shape of the lip on it. But uh, I honestly don't even know if it's a boss. Let's see if we can scoop it up out of there and uh, get a look at it. Yeah, that's what it is. It's very, very weak embossing on it. You can see American right there. There's a liniment right there. But, it is an oldie, and uh, it looks to be in perfect condition, so. It's blown, blown in a mold. Let's keep digging away. interesting shard that just come out folks it's a Pendleton Panacea company I've found plenty of these in the past I've only ever found one that said St. John New Brunswick on it but this one here also says Rockland Maine on it first time I've seen that too bad it's broke I think I'll keep this shard anyways because uh, it's rather interesting all right, let's keep digging. Hi, well, hey there, folks. How's it going? <laughs> I got a little something in the hole here. I already picked it out and kind of wiped it off. It's a little milk white. Let me check it out. Oval shaped. First time I found one that shape, so it's kind of cool. I say there's no embossing on it, but uh, no lid on it either. But how often do you find one that shape? That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's blown or machine made either. Either way, I'm going to keep it and clean it up. 
See you on the next one, folks. Well, I'm not having real good luck with the bottles here today, folks. But uh, I did get one more thing here. It's an old sad iron rest. It's got a nice design on it. I'll take that home and put her through the electrolysis, get it cleaned up. Should turn out pretty good. Alright, so there's that. I had to get up out of there. I think this this whole thing may collapse here. <laughs> so uh, that's that. Oh yeah, this thing here I want to show you too. I thought it was a base to a like a mason jar, but it isn't. It's like a huge top. This thing's massive. It's like a huge glass insert, I think, for a mason jar. Anyways. There's that. <laughs> Later. Okay, folks, so I had a bit of a cave in, but I see something fell out right on the surface here. Let's reach and grab that. What is it? Oh my god, it's a human digit. I better go call that lock. <laughs> oh my word. Wow, I'll put that up here with the other parts and pieces. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, folks, are you kidding me? See that in there? I think that's a hutch that just rolled over the wall. Oh no, I think the base had broke off it. Oh, it is. Oh. oh. Looks like a blank, blank slug plate, and the base is busted off it. Closure still in it though. I can see that. I don't think you can see it though. Wow, what a shame. <laughs> that would have been my first old one. Oh, what a heartbreaker. That old food just, dish uh, jar come out of there too. It's cracked though. Frag. Good day, folks. We're back with another find. It's the same as the last good bottle. It's another Johnson's American Anodyne Liniment. That's for when you've been out being naughty and your muscles are sore. You can use that. And next we also have this lovely little relic. It's a lantern part for when you need some a little bit of fire in your life. It's in excellent condition. Check it out. Let's keep going. Maybe we'll find some more lovely little finds. Hmm? Well, it's just starting to rain and uh, it's right out of glass stopper. Let's get that. Yep, nice greenish colored one. So, we'll take that, and uh, might get out here soon. Oh my god, folks, there's so many barrel rings in here, look. Just full of them. I a little cork top right here, though, I see. I just scraped out. It's a little stretch. Just a slicker. Frick. Bone though. That might hang on to it. Let's keep going. I am Dracula. Oh, it's really good to see you. Okay, I think I got some sort of little embossed perfume here, folks. Let's come out of the hole. Uh, 
Lubin Perfumer, Paris. Little blown cork top. First time I found one of those. Well, that's a keeper. Lubin, L U B I N. Trying to get a focus on it here. Well, it's as good as it's going to get. Hello, YouTubers. I got two bottles weighing back there. Um, one's going to require quite a bit more digging to get out, and the other one I think is ready to come out. I'm going to try to grab it with this air pick. See it right, right there. The shadow might be in the way. I got it anyways. Is it anything? And it's not embossed. Sadly, it's not embossed. Like an O and a diamond. Oh well, we'll get you up uh, on that next one. <laughs> really beat myself up on these old tree roots here, folks, but I think that one's ready to come out. It's way in there. Ah, oh, it's been broke. Oh, frick, that's too bad. Well, it doesn't look to be embossed, anyways. Good day, folks. Welcome back to the bottle digging recap portion of the video. And also, happy Halloween. I hope everybody's gonna have a great Halloween. Uh, I got a few finds on this one. Nothing uh, real spectacular, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a uh, magic trick here. And uh, if you figure it out, well, that's okay. You can uh, try it on your friends. But I got a glass here, and you can see it's just a regular glass, and you can see right through it there. And I'm just gonna go like that, and there you go. That is a Canadian loony right there. That's my magic glass, and I go like that, and of course, it's gone. All right, get focused. All right, back to business. So, this was a real heartbreaker. That nice uh, hutch with the stopper still in it. That's a friggin' shame. Would have been a beauty. I got the JNO Wyeth and Brothers liquid extract malt with the neck busted off that one too. But I'm thinking I'm going to cut that off right around there, and I think that'll make an interesting little uh, looking bottle right around the top of that double collar there. Might be able to do something with it. And then, uh, oh, we got two. Now these uh, Johnson American Anodyne Liniments. And these are pretty old ones. They're a nice uh, aqua blue color. So you're looking at the late 1890s or early 1900s. There's two of them. They're a fairly common bottle. Greg, I'm just having all kinds of trouble here today. Let me go back up on here. Happy Halloween. <laughs> all right. And uh, that was a nice blown bottle. I don't think it's manganese glass. It might be, though. We've well, got a variety of slicks over here, too. This is uh, a nice milk glass one. It's a uh, cheese -a jar here. We get focused on it somewhat. McLaren's. McLaren's cheese is what that one is. McLaren's Imperial Cheese. There you go. Like I say, we got some slicks here. This was an interesting little bottle. It's a slick, but uh, that lid is quite heavy. It's almost reminds me of being lead. Now this is a blown screw top with the ground lip, and we can get 
a little better focused you can see it's one of those thick threads on it I think I think if not all of the blown uh, screw top bottles I found have a really thick thread on them okay so that's pretty cool and uh, the next interesting one is this broken one here as well uh, Pendleton's uh, Panacea Company Rockland, Maine and St. John, New Brunswick love to have found a whole one of those we got the sad iron rest the paint is still not quite dry on it I spent 13 hours in the uh, electrolysis and cleaned up a lot of the rust off it it didn't turn out too bad I put some flat black paint on it and uh, that is the result a little bit of paint on me there got a knob lantern part glass stopper and uh, this other milk glass one you've seen in the video and that's going to be it for this Halloween folks and this uh, video the last Halloween video that I showed was actually from last year some of you might have uh, recognized it or remembered it but anyways that was that and this is this and uh, this is the end of the road so here we go say say goodbye squiggy say goodbye buddy see you next year over and out folks happy Halloween ah here you got my beard caught in a tree again today Ay, 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 ay,